Hi, my name's Ilma and welcome to my channel. I've been posting Christian blogs for 10 years now and today I'd like to share Psalm 90 verses 1 to 8. Here's God's word. Lord, you have been our dwelling place in all generations. Before the mountains were brought forth, wherever you had formed the earth and the world, from everlasting to everlasting, you are God. You return man to dust and say, Return, O children of man, for a thousand years in your sight are but as yesterday when it is past, or as a watch in the night. You sweep them away as with a flood. They are like a dream, like grass that is renewed in the morning. In the morning it flourishes and is renewed. In the evening it fades and withers. For we are brought to an end by your anger. By your wrath we are dismayed. You have set our iniquities before you, our secret sins in the light of your presence. Psalm 90, 1 to 8. And here's my blog, inspired by that psalm. Our infinite Lord and Master, O oh my Lord, my Master, you are our everlasting abode. You are the beginning and the end, the only eternal one. Before anything else came into being, you existed already. You even made man into your own likeness and image. And yet our forefathers desired more than you gave them. Sin was born and destroyed your creation of a perfect man. You returned this man from the dust you made him from. Your wrath on sin made you sweep them away in a flood. O oh, my eternal Father, we praise and glorify your infinite being. Who is man that you even think of him after his unfaithfulness? You give him all the chances to come to you and confess. But the aftermath of sin made him weak and powerless. You are able to shine your light in the most hidden sins. You continue to be steadfast in your love and grant us mercy. Reflection. How do you dwell in your eternal abode, the Lord and Master of your life? It is not an easy thing to dwell in an eternal an unseen Lord and Master. It's easier to do that when you are uh, serving somebody who is a, a person with physical being. So it says in the Bible that the Lord wants him to be worshipped in truth and in spirit. So for us to be able to dwell in him and for him to dwell in us, we need to stay holy. As he says in his word, he is holy, therefore he expects holiness from his people. Now, holiness doesn't mean perfect, but holiness would probably mean something that you acknowledge that you are sinful and that you are nothing without the Lord. So humility is one of the ways that we can allow the Lord, that we can con continually um, live or dwell in His presence. Because when we follow His will, we show that we love Him. When we don't, therefore we are doing our natural inclination to be sinful. So what happens when we are not dwelling in our Lord is that we will probably be dwelling in the world. So those two things do not go together as in Galatians, uh, as, as the, the book of Galatians explains in Galatians 5, that the spirit and the flesh are not, are opposites because the spirit always wants to please the Lord, but the flesh 
go against the Lord. So you can only uh, ensure that you are living and, and dwelling in the, in the Lord's presence if you are walking in the Spirit. You cannot do that when you walk in the flesh. And we know we are we are sinful by nature, but it's the spirit that gives us uh, the ability to live holy lives because he wants us all to be sanctified and purified so that we can give God the glory and we can worship God in truth and in spirit. So I encourage you to dwell in your eternal abode, which who is your Father in heaven and that you will be always uh, focused on giving Him worship and praise instead of focusing on other things in this world. Thanks for watching. I hope you check my website at ilmaarts.com for artworks, photographs, and a copy of this blog. And I hope you subscribe to my channel on YouTube so I could make more videos for the Lord. Uh, we thank the Lord also for lifting all these uh, restrictions here in Canada. Uh, starting yesterday, um, we can go in some places that we don't need to wear masks anymore. And I hope that it's the same wherever you are right now, that um, God has taken care of us all those years that this pandemic has uh, infiltrated the world. Thanks for watching again. God bless.